Kent German, Senior Managing Editor here at CNET. Today we're going to take a first look at Outlook.com. Now Outlook.com is Microsoft's new browser-based email service. It is free, of course, and is eventually going to replace Hotmail. Right now it's only available in a preview. Anybody can download it. You can use it on any machine. You'll see that even though it has a lot of Windows 8 touches, some of the fonts, the People Hub, you don't need Windows 8 to use it. Uh, you can move over to it if you're an existing Hotmail user. You can jump on it if you're new. Uh, if you don't like it right away, you can move back, but eventually Microsoft will move all Hotmail users to this system, so you want to keep that in mind. It's very minimal in its design, really clean, not a lot of clutter at all. It's going to look a lot like Gmail in some ways, but I think it's even more minimalist than that. When you open it up, you'll see that the inbox is pretty much what you'd expect from any email service. You'll see a list of messages down the front. Of course, you'll see the usual fields of the sender's name, the subject line, and then you'll see the time and date sent. If it's sent in the last 24 hours, you'll see the time, but if it's sent um, earlier than that, you'll see the date. Up on the top is the commands bar. You can actually go over and change it to a few, a few different colors, but that bit of color is really the only bit of personalization here, and I still think that's fine because it just keeps the email inbox just what you need to know it's surfaced directly you can add a preview pane in outlook.com so to do that you just go over to the side here click on the cog wheel and add preview pane so of course what that lets you do is that lets you preview as you go down your inbox, box it lets you preview all the mess all the content that's in there I did like using the preview box for a couple reasons one is that when you're using the preview pane you actually get independent scroll bars for the inbox so you can scroll down and see all your messages and for this left bar with all your folders. When you don't have the preview pane on, you just get one scroll bar here on the side. So I didn't like that. Also, you'll notice that there are ads over here. Now these are pretty unobtrusive. You pop on them, you'll see that uh, your little picture pops up. Microsoft says it's not reading your email for the ads. I don't exactly know how it decides what ads you get. I saw everything from a, a set of six jelly jars to a Brazilian steakhouse to some random seafood place. So it was a really random assortment. And Microsoft does say that when you open a message, so when you open a message from your friend, the ads will disappear. And I found that to be the case, but only when I was using this preview bar. So if I went to a message that actually I just sent myself and clicked on it, you'll see that the ads disappear. But if I go back and I remove that preview pane and I click on the same email, then you do see ads appear on the side. So I'm not really sure why that's happening. I'm going to check with Microsoft. Now Outlook.com does have a people hub. Now that's going to be straight out of Windows Phone, straight out of Windows 8. To get to it, you just go to this arrow, and you'll see a mail, calendar, you can SkyDrive, actually it is uh, hooked in with SkyDrive, so you get a lot of storage thanks to that. And you have a people hub for finding all your contacts. You can integrate Facebook, Twitter, and other social media services with Outlook.com. So when that happens, a few things. So if I get a message from somebody that I'm hooked in through Facebook, so I'll just go to this message from Jessica Dolcourt, you'll see that her photo from Facebook pops right up, so I didn't have to insert that manually and you'll see her latest tweet and Facebook status updates. You can also tweet directly to her from here. You could send a Facebook message directly. You could write on her wall directly. So it does bring all those elements together. Of course, you don't have to integrate Facebook or anything like that. You can keep them all separate. But another advantage to do that is you can actually chat with the person as well. So if Jessica were online, I could go to here and chat away. So it just brings a nice way to do all of those things in one area. Now on the left side you'll see you have your list of folders, so that's pretty standard. You see that on most email services. Now below that though is a quick view section. Now this is something that's unique to my Outlook.com. What it does is it allow there's a certain number of categories that you can put you can organize your email into. Now they work a couple different ways. There are default categories for shipping updates, photos, and documents, and also flagged. Now what happens is, is when an email comes in, that Outlook.com recognizes that it has photos attached or it has a shipping update, so like a tracking number from UPS, it will put them there automatically. Now this isn't like a folder, it doesn't move them there so they, remove, they leave the inbox, they actually stay in their inbox, they just have this sort of category attached to them. So if I click on photos for instance, I can see all the emails that came with a photo, same if I go to documents, and same if I go to shipping updates. The shipping updates is nice because I'm not sure how that works exactly, but I can go and I can see here, and there, see I have a FedEx status update, so everything is just organized there. Now folders are, just as they sound, folders are where you move things to, they leave the inbox, and it's just a way of organizing your emails. So I can click on a folder, like I'll just say I'll click on work messages here, 
and then it'll show only those messages that I put there. So very standard, like exactly what you'd expect. And with photos and videos, Outlook.com does allow you to preview them directly in the body of the email. So I'll open, the, I'll open a couple of those up and we'll see how they look. And when you click on them, you will see you can get an instant slideshow, so you can scroll through them. The photos are big and it's a nice player. Of course, you can download them as a group, you can download them individually, or you can uh, send them on to somebody else. And if a message comes from YouTube and you include a YouTube link, here you see you open that up, and the video will actually be in a box and you can just play it right there. So they do a good job with that. And a couple last things that Microsoft did add in Outlook.com is when you're scrolling over an email, you can see you get these quick action. So they, these quick action icons, they only appear when you're clicking, on, when you're mousing over an email. They allow you to uh, mark it as red, trash it, or flag it. So those are nice because it just saves you a couple steps from going up to a going up to a bar up here and trying to find a pull down menu. You can um, alter these, so you can do a couple others, so like mark as junk, or you can do send a folder or something like that. Once you flag a message, a flagged message will automatically appear at the top of the inbox. So no matter where, no matter if it was sent two weeks ago or just, just now, it will appear up top. So that's nice because it just brings those messages right to the top. You can choose to hide it if you like, but uh, I do think that's a nice touch. As you notice, this, this commands bar will change as you're doing different things. So when you're just in the inbox, it's only going to show the relevant commands. And then when you're in an individual message, you'll see all the things you need to do like junk or move or anything like that. Microsoft does promise a couple spam filtering features. One, it tries to make a designation between obvious spam, so things like a Nigerian, uh, you won the lottery thing, or uh, what it calls gray mail. And gray mail are newsletters, they're daily deals, they're the specials you get when you per patronize a retailer and then they start sending you something every day. Some of those things you may want, some of the things you don't. So Microsoft does allow you to do what's called a schedule cleanup function. So if you go to sweep, you click on there, you go down to schedule cleanup, and then you can do things like delete all the messages from a sender, you can delete um, all messages older than 10 days, or you can uh, designate the messages that you want saved and the messages that you don't. Microsoft does say that if you, try to if you want to block an email, it will make an attempt to block all future emails from a sender and attempt to un unsubscribe you. Now, my only question about that is if it makes an attempt to unsubscribe you from an obvious spammer, does that just didn't tell the spammer that your email exists and you're going to get more? I'm going to have to wait and see. I've only been using this for a few days, so I can't really gauge its spam effectiveness. I only have a few messages in it. It was a brand new account for me. So I'll have to see over time exactly how that works. But it's nice to see those spam promises. You know, spam plagues everybody. We all hate it. So hopefully Microsoft will do a good job with that. So that's Outlook.com. I like it in its first stages. I think that uh, it has a nice, clean interface. It's very easy to understand. There are some nice features. I like that quick view. I like those instant action items that just appear uh, when you're that just appear when you're mousing over your email. And I like all the Facebook integration and Twitter. I know that's not going to be for everybody, but if you have a real digital life and everybody's integrated, it's going to be a great step. You can get an Outlook.com account starting now, so your email will be so and so at Outlook.com. And then moving forward, if you're not Hotmail users, you'll have to get here eventually. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is MicrosoftOutlook.com.